Fuel debris. Fuel debris is a mixture of melted fuel inside the reactor and reactor materials that has solidified. According to a previous internal examination of the reactor, an estimated 880 tons of fuel debris are present in the building. This debris needs to be retrieved to continue with decommissioning. However, there are high levels of radiation in the primary containment vessel, making it extremely dangerous for people to enter. So what is needed is remote control technology, like a robot. In February 2019, a robot successfully lifted deposited material that is believed to be fuel debris. In addition, a robotic arm has been developed using the world's most advanced technology, and this arm will be used in a trial retrieval in the future. Right now, we have little information about the inside of the building. We had to design a robot based solely on floor plans and drawings as well as video from a simple survey. A distance of 10 meters or so from the inlet where the arm will be inserted until the place where the fuel debris is located. But the inlet is only about 55 centimeters wide. The arm must be long and thin but strong enough not to bend. While reviewing technology from around the world, we came across VNS UK. VNS had advanced technology for manipulators it had developed for nuclear fusion reactors. The robotic arm that we and VNS jointly developed over a period of about four years has a total length of 22 meters and 18 joint axes. Various steps have been taken, such as housing the arm in a metal casing so that radioactive materials are not dispersed outside. Software is used to operate the arm remotely. The arm's operation was tested in a full-size mock-up in the town of Naraha, Fukushima Prefecture to eliminate any glitches. Nonetheless, the inside of the actual building may differ from the mock-up. The operations room will be located several hundred meters away, but in the event of a problem with the arm, someone may need to repair it directly on-site despite the high levels of radiation. This is also a problem because humans cannot remain in the area for long. These challenges are unprecedented in world history, but they can definitely be overcome through careful and steady effort. The properties of the retrieved fuel debris will be examined and analyzed at research labs. The scale of retrieval will be gradually expanded based on the results and the final method of disposal will continue to be examined while also listening to the views of local residents. Retrieval of fuel debris will be an extremely difficult task. It will draw upon collected wisdom both from at home and abroad.